Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from Stone. Uh, they call it Arrogant Consortia, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is Arrogant Bastard. I reviewed this not too long ago, but uh, my, my friend uh, uh, Jordan got a, a case of these tall freaking um, <laughs> stovepipe cans of this beer because he loves this beer, and I love this beer too, so uh, he, he gave me a couple, so thank you so much. So this is a classic American Strong Ale, was the American Strong Ales pretty much... The best way I could describe it is sort of like a tiny barley wine or like a um, sort of like an imperial red IPA kind of thing. So, but it's it's really not much out in the market anymore. Like this is sort of like the one beer you can really find that's American Strong Ale. There's really nothing much out there. So, um, let's look at the beer. So, the beer has it's actually a little bit murky. Like I can't I don't think I can see through it. Yeah, seems like it has some haze to it, which is interesting. Uh, beer comes in a light brown to medium brown color not even like it's like past amber uh wonderful like uh, tan head on that honestly it looks like it almost like an english brown ale so yeah quite nice i get a uh, rich red fruit character uh this beer they don't reveal the recipe if you actually want to go on stone's website they have like all the recipes hops blah blah, blah blah all their brands the new brands the different enjoy buys with different recipes and different you know all the th different things they do this is held as a secret but from where I stand, um, from a really amazing podcast series so you, you guys really should check out. It's from like, geez, <laughs> I think they're, how this, I remember listening to an episode where they're like, hey, this new new hop came out that's experimental called Citra. <laughs> and this is in like 2009, 2010. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, like, did they know what they have their hands on? And then obviously Citra has completely dominated the, the craft IPA market. So, um, but anyway, the beer, the, the podcast is called uh, Can You Brew It with John Palmer and uh, I think John Palmer, but it's Jamil Zanishev and some of the other uh, guys from back then. And it's pretty much like they interview a, a, a brewer and say, hey, can we like give us a recipe and we're gonna try to redo it. And I actually don't think Stone gave them the recipe. So they just kept doing it over and over and over. And they did like four or five iterations of the podcast over it, And they, they actually finally figured out like, I believe it's just a lot of specialty and Chinook to find this beer. Obviously, other ingredients, blah, blah, blah. But um, it took a while, and they, they think they perfected it. And then Mitch Steele still refused to give them the recipe. And even to this day, working for New Realm, he refuses to give the recipe for this beer, I believe. So, um, but yeah, the specialty comes off like big. I, you know what it is? Strawberries. A lot of strawberries. I, some of these tasting notes sometimes come off like, confusing like people go like um purple on mosaic sometimes right they go blueberry i have a hard time finding that but strawberry is something i rarely call but yeah it smells like um like uh, dehydrated strawberries frozen strawberries like that kind of like not juicy but like intense and like concentrated dehydrated strawberry goji berry a little bit of raisin pine woodsy the chinook is very dominant here it almost has this like so the hops come off so um, piney and woodsy that it almost comes off like paper bag and cardboard, which is oxidation, but this is darn fresh. This is literally like five weeks fresh and they give you a fourth month best buy on it. Cheers. Mm, yeah. So I would let this guy warm up a little bit. The malt complexity is beautiful here. You get more of that kind of red fruit character, which is really nice. Um, that specialty is actually used in a lot of like a Belgian quad recipes to help boost up this kind of like ester profile slash dark fruit character and you get it here plums raisins um a lot of strawberry and like again goji berry dry goji berries hawthorn fruit uh, crackers thingies wafers if you guys are asian you might know what i'm talking about if you don't know look it up um and then the beer is bitter like a third of the palate halfway palate bang bitter 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 it's really nice to calibrate your palate sometimes because there's really nothing like it's hard to find bitter stuff out there these days in the craft beer market. Um, McMahon and my guy, he just sent me some like West Coast. This, this is really called their beer, like West Coast IPA, blah, blah, blah. The beer tastes like a dry hop lager. Like what? Um, this is on the different realm. It, you know, you're, it, it has so much impact for a beer that's 7.2%. It has so much malt to it, so much bitterness to it, but high drinkability. I like the repeatability on this guy. I like hitting my palate with that bitterness sometimes because you know you gotta you gotta you gotta drink bitter sometimes because if you're just stuck on hazy ipa you're, you're you know it gets tiring i hope that makes some sense um good analogy would be like uh you know traveling somewhere and going on vacation and you're just eating out all the time but then sometimes you sit down and just like 
yeah, I might just want a bowl of oatmeal or like a salad, right? Like you're just eating junky kind of like high calorie food sometimes. It can be tiring on your palate and, and your body too. Cool thing about this beer, still pipe, it's responsibly put at 7.2%. Uh, these still pipe these days, they put like Voodoo Ranger this and all these like eight and a half, eight percent, nine and a half, nine percent, like nonstop. 7.2, this beer has just as much impression, if not more flavor for a beer that's like two points ABV lower. This beer really drinks almost like 8.85. Really nice kind of crystal malt character with that red fruit that I was talking about. This kind of like toasted breadiness and caramel sweetness with that kind of piney bitterness, earthiness, bam, 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 dry beer, with actually a little bit of residual sweetness. But it's just, a, again, just like I described earlier, it's almost like a tiny barley wine versus, uh, oh, you know what? If you guys like that uh, Sierra Nevada box with the Ruthless Rye and the, um, what was the other one, the Flipside IPA, this tastes like an imperial version of the Ruthless Rye. And I'm curious if it's actually rye in this malt, uh, in this malt bill, but uh, very tasty. Mm. Again, I like it warmed up. Um, yeah, as, as I drink it more, the malt complexity really shows and uh, highlights a really beautiful complexity of malt complexity and hop bitterness. And uh, again, this beer is bitter. So if you guys want to calibrate your palate, if you guys are scared of bitterness or haven't had a bitter beer in a while, get this one. Just to taste what bitterness tastes like. This is this is. It's hard to find more bitter beer on the market, in my opinion. So. Uh, Sierra Nevada Big Put would probably be the one that I can give you, but and some Imperial Stouts out there. But I really like this guy. I feel like I've had better examples, but maybe it, just because I re, uh, reviewed it more recently. Ninety six, absolutely fantastic. This is just this is just a classic. Uh, it's 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 so good, and really happy to revisit it because honestly, this is one of the first craft beers that I had, and I was like, oh, this thing's gross. You know, like craft beer was cool. Arrogant bastard. Like what a cool name and cool branding with the freaking, you know, gargoyle and all that stuff. But now, you know, now we're talking like probably before I got, got down to craft beers. So now we're talking like 15 years ago. So like 15 years now, um, I'm liking this. So check it out. 96. Fantastic stuff. Post in the comments below what uh, other beers you uh, enjoy uh, that are like bitter and old school. Later.